Hey, you're welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can transform a product image from this to this using AI. And the interesting part is I will also show you how you can use it to generate multiple variations of the product image. So you can test multiple handles and styles for your marketing. You can as well use it for seasonal product photography just like this. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. If you are not new to my channel, I've always recommended Flux Image Generator. So it is one of the best text to image model out there at the moment. And recently, they also released Flux Tools, which you can use for various things. For example, uh, this is the fill tool that you can use to uh, change certain part of your image or area of your image. But in this video, we'll be using this particular Flux tool called Redux. So you can use it, you can see for image generation and also restyling. So you can see some examples here, even though what we'll be using it for is quite different, but you can see what it can do. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. The product I'll be using as a case study is this popcorn popper maker. So I recommended this particular product uh, two weeks ago in one of my videos, all 20 products to sell in December. Don't worry, I also put some of this link in the description of this video okay so this is what we'll be using as our case study so here is the plan you can actually generate even up to 100 image variations but in this video i'll show you how you can do 20 well let's start with the first five now the first approach is going through mapper we also i'll show you another route so just keep watching now the first approach as i've said is going through mapper so if you are familiar with map already or if you are new, just go to adivicasama.com forward slash MAPA. Visit the link you are currently seeing on your screen. So Mapa is an assistant on ChatGPT, which means you need to have a ChatGPT account. Okay, so once that is sorted, just click on Creative BG. So basically what we want to do is to generate the prompt that we can use for the background. So the first we want to do is to gather and brainstorm some background concept that can be used, right? So let's do that. Um, now upload the image. Okay, so this is the product image and just click on send. So Mapa would do some kind of analysis to understand the product image. Now I also recommend you find a product image that does not have too much noise in the background so something like a plain white background that would be okay so you just want a plain white background and the product image if you don't have one like this you can basically do that very easy just use any image editor remove the background you can use remove.bg remove the background and put on a white background that's all okay so you can see there are five creative background concepts tailored for the popcorn maker in your image you can see so it will suggest some concept that you can try out now we have the concept now the next thing is to now transform this description into prompt now to do that we would use imaging so if you are not new to my channel as well i've shared series of tutorials on imaging so imaging is basically an assistant to transform text prompt or text description into generative prompt so the first thing you need to do if you haven't used imaging before you can search imaging image prompt generator from the charity store or just go to adelicusama.com forward slash imaging i-m-a-g-e-n-e -E. once you are there just start the chat the conversation with it so once that is uh, logged in already then you can now do this press add on your keyboard so it will load uh, the list of gpts that you have access to right then you see imaging or you can just search imaging you can see so this way you are calling a gpt assistant or ai assistant into an existing chat that's what we are doing here so we'll just say transform the background concept ideas into prompt so these are just ideas right so we want to transform them into generative prompt and here we go so you can see we have the prompt the prompt that you can just put into any image generator and it will do the work for you okay so these are just prompts now how can we use all of this prompt that is what i'm about to show you now to generate the image itself we'll be using 
flux on replicate so if you watch uh, the video i did on how you can use ai for graphics design i also recommended flux though on file platform here is the thing black forest the creator of flux uh, image model they do not have like their own platform for using flux so mostly you use it through api and there are about three platforms that just create an interface for those flux api so you can easily use one of those platform was file which i recommended some days ago and then another one is replicate so we'll be using replicate uh, for this particular tutorial now basically all you need to do to get this right is this go to adelicashamu.com forward slash redux don't forget we'll be using the redux tool right redux tool so go to adelicashamu.com forward slash redux you'll be directed to this page now if you have not used replicate before uh you will need to create like a github account so just go to github you will see that you just need to create an account because github is used by developers but then you don't need to be a developer or to write any code but you just need to have an account so that you can use replicate so if you already used a github account on file that i recommended earlier you won't need to do that again all you need to do is just sign in oh, that is clear okay so once you are here make sure it is flux 1.1 pro ultra and um, scroll down this is where we'll put our prompt so i'll remove this now because we are using redux 2 so redux 2 allows you to upload the image that you want to use so basically just uploading the same image you use the other time then uh scroll down this is where we'll put our prompt and let me try the first no let me try the second prompt first minimalist kitchen yeah let's see how that looks so you can basically just paste it right here okay uh so once you have the image the prompt so basically why it is generating the image it will keep this particular video in mind all right uh sorry image rather in mind now aspect ratio since this is a product image one ratio one mostly uh you can leave every other thing output format i prefer png then click on run that's it and it will do its magic so why that is loading let me also share something so this is like one approach to doing this but if you have watched this particular video as well i did some months ago i think three months ago where i show you how you can use ai to generate images of yourself so personalized image generation you can use that same technique for your product photography all you need to do is instead of using your own face to train the model because basically it is you training the flux model so instead of using your picture your face just replace it with your product images so if you have let's say many images just put them together and use that instead well if you are willing to commit that time just go for that and if it is a product that you are selling for a very long time and you want to scale and all of that but if you need something like that you can contact me i can create something like that for you but then if you just want to try it on your own come to this particular tutorial the only thing you'll be changing is changing your personal image with your product image so that way you can prompt and it will generate everything for you because there is still one more step with using this this particular approach i'm sharing with you okay now it has generated uh the first image you can see from this to this it's very obvious the product image is kind of different from what you are seeing but don't worry what we are mostly concerned about in this old generation is the background and also the product placement so we would replace this product don't worry i'll show you how you can do that but just focus on the background and uh, we are good to go though if you are going through the route of training the flux model on your product images all of this won't happen so you get what you actually prompted both the background and even your product image but i don't want to recreate that tutorial you can go check that i'll put a link in the description as well okay so that is that about that so let's let's just do more now all you need to do is just change the prompt and just paste every other thing remains the same and let me also say this right this actually works for beauty product 
Trust me, we sell products that are contained in a bottle or the supplement bottle or serum bottle and stuff like that. It works amazingly well, but I don't want to use those simple use case. So in case you are selling something else, it will work for you, right? Okay, so we have another one. So this way you are creating multiple variations of your product that you can sell and it will appeal to different kind of your audience segment. Okay, let's even try this movie night, uh, movie team rather. You know, it, this period again, if you are selling this kind of product, just use this, trust me. There will be a lot of Netflix and chill going on. I'm not saying you should do that, I'm just saying it will happen. Or it is happening already. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see, let's see. Okay, so once this is done, you can just do the same thing for other prompts that you have here, but I'll not be doing for all of that. Before I show you how you can generate like 20 different prompts, let me show you how you can transform this particular image into what you are looking for right so we'll be using canva in this case now listen it is quite easy to just use ai to generate images even for different background and all of that but then if you are selling a specific product you want to ensure uh, the image generated carries your product so this is why this step is very very important Okay, so we'll be using Canva. All you need to do is create a new design or just select this Instagram post. You want the square 1080 by 1080. That's the square dimension, right? So let's do this. Let's do this. Then go to upload those background images that we generated earlier, right? Uh, this is where you upload them. Now, once you upload uh, the image, right? Uh, the background images, just click on one of them. Let's start with this. Click on the image and click on edit image to edit the image. Now the most important tool that you'll be using from Canva will be this magic grab. So basically it is you removing an object from the whole scene. Click on it and click on grab. You can see the, Im uh, the object is now grabbed. You can then click on delete. It is deleted. All you need to do is uh, let's click on the one of the product images I think uh, so we'll use this and uh, another tool you can use here is the background remover right you can see easy peasy you can decide to make it bigger and you can see we have the first product image now let's do another one let me just show you another example so let's say we want to use this select the image click on edit and you'll see magic grab so click to grab the image now that option is to use a brush so if it is not grabbing the image just use the brush too but we'll use click instead so i'll just click on this and also click on um, another object and you click to grab them you can see they are already grabbed and click on delete now this does not look too cool but just click on this and copy then paste somewhere here you can see even though it is matching some of the products that are there but who is going to know basically that is it and uh if you want to even do it you can use one of these let me remove this particular one let's use let's use this one instead yeah this will go with this yeah not bad then you can preview guys nobody will know look at this looks amazing and that is it just grab the object remove it and replace you can as well avoid all of those stress of grabbing and removing just select the image this way and then uh, the new one you want to put on it just copy and paste nobody is going to know that there is an image behind it no nobody is going to know you can see i did not even remove the uh, previous image there the product image i just place it on it and we are good to go you can do the same thing for uh this one as well but the only thing is it might not work for all scenarios right you can just use the grab tool in that case so let's try it for this like a scenario like this one where you have a product at the back it might not really work because you want everything to be slick right okay so let's paste can you see yeah it worked even though uh, this other one did not work for it. But then, you get my point right. So, you are good to go. That way, you have different 
variations of your product image now let me show you one more thing now we have just five you can just prompt it to suggest five more unique background concepts that blends well with the product and as you can see we have five more uh, background concepts or ideas that you can try out now another thing you can consider is this season right now it is christmas season i can just act it as well to suggest christmas theme uh, background concept right so if it is valentine you can use valentine if it is easter season just look for what is currently trending or the season that you are currently at why you want to push or promote the product right you can see so let's look at the options it gave us you can see so it gave us different options now we have like 15 images that we can create from this all you need to do is repeat the same process that i shared with you earlier so you can even continue and tell it to suggest 20 more 10 more and it will go ahead to do that and lastly if you are not part of the ai tribe i would urge you to join go to adelikesame.com forward slash ai dash tribe that is where you get to know about my latest tutorials and if there are news in the world of ai that i want to share so i just have some thoughts i want to share regarding ai that is where i send it to once you are part of the ai tribe automatically you also subscribe to my newsletter so don't worry you get everything related to ai when you sign up okay so that will be all for now and i will see you in my next video bye for now